Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So given the uh, the equation for this plane, so given the equation for this plane, come up with the equation for a new plane where it's parallel to our current plane. Uh, it's parallel to our current plane, but two units away. So it's so a parallel and two units away. Doesn't mean you just take away two in the z direction. You can't just take away two in the direction. Uh, in the z direction. You've got to think about the normal vector, and it's two units away in the normal direction. Uh, so, so two units away means you've got to consider the normal vector, and it's two units away in the normal uh, in the normal direction, as opposed to um, as opposed to just take away two in the z direction. Because because our plane is floating in the middle of nowhere, it's floating through the space. You can't just drag it down. By, by two in the z direction, you've got to think about well. If you want, if you want the, uh, if you want the plane to be two units away, you can't just drag it uh, in two in the z direction. You've got to think about the normal vector, and then and then drag it two units away in the direction of the normal vector. Okay, so so uh, come up with the equation for this plane, for this plane, and also the one above it. So this is plus two, this is minus two. So come up with the equation for this plane and this plane. So press um, press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, we got to work out the uh, we got to extract the normal vector and then turn this normal vector into a unit vector by by dividing it by its magnitude. Let's say its magnitude is currently five divided by its magnitude. That will then give us um, a, a a length of one, a unit vector, a, a unit normal vector of length one. So that will then give us this, and then later on we can times it by by two, so one, two, or we can take away two. That will then give us this one here. Adding two would then give us this plane here. Okay, so so first things first, extract the um, the normal vector, extract the normal vector, and then divide it by its magnitude. That will then give us a a unit uh, normal vector. So first things first, hang on, bear with me. So first things first, hang on, bear with me. So first things first, we could do um, extract a normal vector and then divide it by its magnitude. So the normal vector would be one, two, negative two. So the normal vector would be one, two, negative two. And then now uh, we could divide it by its magnitude. So that would then give us that would then give us this. So our 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 units um, our units normal vector is given by by this. Okay. So so now we need. Um, so, so going back to here, so, so going back to here, hang on, bear with me. We now need to know one particular point on our plane. We now need to know one particular point on our plane. So let's, let's set y to be zero. So let's set y to be zero. Set z to be zero. So, um, so when you set y to be zero, this would disappear. This would disappear. So, so x must be one. So what it means is that our plane crosses at at, at this point, this point here actually cross up. Uh, th th this point here it, it crosses the the x-axis uh, at at uh, one comma zero zero. So this point here, this point here is actually on the plane. So bear with me. So currently we've got the uh, the unit normal vector, and we've got one particular point on the plane. Uh, one particular point on the plane. So, so we we now have one particular point on the plane. We now have the uh, the unit normal vector. So if, if we um, so hang on. So currently, currently we have one particular point on the plane. Currently, currently we have one particular point on the plane. Um, so so that means that if we uh, if we add add um, hang on, bear with me. So currently we have one particular point on the plane. And then this is our units vector. But the thing is, we we want to go two units away uh, in the in the direction of the normal vector. So we would add two lots of our units normal vector. So what it means is, currently we we know one particular point on the plane, and then we're going to take two steps in the uh, in the direction of the normal vector. So what it means is, uh, we we know we know one particular point here. So this bear with me. So this point here. Is this point here, and then when when you add two, when you add two in the direction of the normal vector, it means this. Currently we are here. Add two, one, two. That will then take us to here. So the coordinates here is given by this because because.
occurs uh, in the x direction it will be 1 plus 2 lots of this so so this times this will be 2 over 3 and then you add 1 so that will then give you that will then give you this and then uh, in the in the um, in the in the y direction it will be 0 plus uh, plus this so that will then give us 4 over 3 that will then give us 4 over 3 and so on so so let's start again we know one particular point on the plane which is here so we know one particular point on the plane which is here take two steps in the direction of the normal vector so take two steps one two so the coordinates here is given by this okay so so now um now i will, I will continue in the next video so uh, yeah i will continue in the next video